play with these little um, cards you just saw me do on a speed through with a kids spin art machine um, on watercolor paper with watercolor paint um, and I just rigged up my spin art machine so that I have a piece of double stick tape in the center of it and I can stick the paper down and then I did um, use the I applied the watercolor paint with a brush while it was the paper was spinning to dry paper I didn't pre-wet the paper or anything and we're gonna we're gonna paint some little blob people and we're gonna play with painting some blob people um, and they're just um, what they sound like blob people so here we go so I always um, use a round brush and <clears throat> I'm gonna start with just you know a head shape and pull down a neck put in some shoulders <clears throat> A torso, a suggestion of some arms, okay, and I'm going to rinse my brush off, and I'm blotting it off on a rag off camera, you can't really see that, and I'm just going to use the damp brush to pull the ink down and over, that'll give you sort of tones and shades of blackness and you're just being you're suggesting a shape you're doing something really primitive really suggestive really um, loose we're not drawing uh, anything too complicated here we're just really suggesting our shapes now I'm gonna I rinse my brush off again and it's just damp with a little water and I want to pull out some of this ink to just you know suggest sort of a ground and a shadow okay Let's have him holding hands with somebody. <clears throat> so let's put another shape here. Again, we'll start with the head and the neck, <clears throat> shoulders. And this time we're gonna bring our sort of triangular shape down further. Rinsing my brush off. Now if you uh, watch a lot of YouTube, there's an artist here on YouTube called uh, Chuck McLaugh McLaughlin, McLaughlin, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. He calls these blob people. They are kind of blob people. So now I'm just, I'm not adding any more ink, I'm just pushing the ink that's already here around with the water, damp brush. There you go. So that's really cute. I like the way that looks. So we're going to set that one aside to dry for a minute. Well, let's do another one. Let's start with the head. And try not to think too much about the position that your figure is going to be in. Let the ink tell you what the figure wants to do. Let the ink figure out where it wants to go. Now we just have water, no ink. more 
more water, no ink. Just think of basic, basic shapes, you know, from elementary school. Just suggest your shapes. Don't worry about drawing them literally. Okay, in this next step, we're going to use a white gel pen to give our blob people a, a really a big pop. I think this really makes them stand out. You can do this on any painty abstract background. I do think it works best on a watercolor background, but if you're going to use Sumi ink like I did, you can definitely do that over acrylic paint. It works just fine. Um, and I'll show you some examples at the end. I'll have some pictures. This is a white Uniball Signo, and I'm just going to use it to highlight some of the parts of my um, blob figures. This does not require lots of fancy drawing skills. Um, and the little bit of gel pen really makes them pop. You can do these big ones, you can do little ones. I've got some tags here that I've done. I have some little small um, squares. These could be used as embellishments on your journal page, like I said. You could, um, this one is ATC card size. Um, so give this a try and have some fun with it. And some of these are done on acrylic paint, and some of them are done on watercolor. Because I use the Sumi ink and it dries permanent and it won't smear, um, it will work on both kinds of backgrounds. So give it a try uh, and see what you think. Um, when you're done watching my video, go to the participant link uh, list in the description below for the other people on this um, video hop and click on the first one and watch their video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course leave comments and let us know what you thought. Um, when you're done watching their video, then click on the name on the top of their list and keep doing that with every successive video. By the time you get back to me, back to this video, you'll know you've seen them all. And I hope you have a good time on the uh, hop. I hope that you discover some great new channels because some these are some really great new channels. Show them some love and some support. And uh, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it.